Right now, news for Jackson 530. A man has been arrested after a neighborhood on Jacksonville's north side was shot up. Witnesses describe the scene like a war zone. 19 year old Tony Brown now facing several charges, including carrying a concealed firearm. His arrest report indicates others were running from police the night of the gunfire as well. News for Jackson reporter Marilyn Parker is joining us live from JSO. So, Marilyn, this brought out a SWAT investigation last week, and multiple shootings have been reported on the street, we understand. That's right. It's so bad and neighbors say they won't even sit on their porches. Take a look at JSO's crime map right here. You can see multiple assaults and burglaries reported on this street, and this is just within the last month. Now, after Thursday's shootout, neighbors hope that JSO can continue to make arrests. This is video from Thursday's shootout. Bullets were flying like we were in the middle of a war. We went back Monday and found bullet holes in cars, windows, fences, walls, and tires. Neighbors called Gullet Drive Dodge City. This was literally sounded like living on the front line of an attack. They're too scared to speak on camera. Friday, they watched SWAT spend hours on their street. Sky 4 flew over the investigation. Detectives picked up bullet casings in front yards. Neighbors say JSO is very familiar with Gulledge Drive. After Thursday night shooting, multiple homes were hit with gunfire. It's amazing no one was injured, but now these neighbors want to know what JSO is going to do about it. We learned 19 year old Tony Brown was arrested while trying to hide behind a house on Gulledge Drive. In his report, officers noted how an address on Gulledge Drive was involved in roughly seven to 10 violent crime investigations in the last year. Back in May, News for Jacks interviewed a woman on this same street who says her home was shot up in retaliation to her 17 year old grandson's arrest for murder. Neighbors are familiar with the case and they think it's connected. News for Jacks also got a tip Friday from the 17 year old's father who said it was retaliation. These kids were prepared for what they came for. It was not just, uh, we just going to shoot a little bit and, and go. We asked JSO Monday if there's an existing threat or danger to this community. They told us it is unknown at this time the motive for this incident and they want citizens to speak up. JSO says the Violent Crimes Unit and the Crime Scene Unit is working this investigation. After we got this report, we also learned that the gang scene, uh, the grain unit is also involved in the investigation. It is active and ongoing. If you have any information, you're asked to contact JSO or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.